So, this is uh, finishing up a uh, intake manifold for uh, the guy's setup. Um, with the runners all the way down. I size them up with um, my template I've printed out, which is based on a 340 gasket setup. Anyway, uh, sandblast plates. This one was actually terrible. This manifold was so dirty, it wasn't funny. Um, you can see the wedges are installed and they're at the angle uh, to match underneath. So, <clears throat> so when you're looking straight down on the throttle body, um, you'll see that they're, they're not straight like this. They're angled like this and match the angle here and here of the runners in the manifold. So, but anyway, uh, some people are asking what I'm using. I use, a, I use stainless hardware, uh, Loctite, and uh, there's locks underneath here. And uh, I use a factory gasket. Um, and of course, I, I completely sandblast and clean my uh, belly pan plate. Um, I put an RTV strip on the bottom first and then I lay my gasket down and then another light coat on top of it and then RT or excuse me uh, Loctite 263 inside for each of these and then I torque down in a cross pattern <clears throat> and that's it. That's all I do to keep them keep them rolling that way and uh, you can see it's a huge ports on these things. That's why these things respond and perform so well um, compared to uh, a stock intake manifold. So um, there you go. Any questions on how I'm doing that setup right there? Uh, that's it. And um, that's high heat silver I use on mine. And um, that's pretty much it. Can't think of anything else to say, but there's your update on uh, hardware for the Kegger intake manifold.